Getting the grades is great, but paying the price for a university place is the next challenge. Some universities say domestic tuition fees have to go up. I think what we need to be clear about is that university fees have been frozen for 10 years now at the 9,250 level. So obviously in the current environment, that's extremely difficult for universities to be able to, you know, uh, to be able to fund all the activities that we do do. So it's a really sort of tricky time. There's been media reports today of £24,000 fees. I mean, I think that nobody in the sector is really seriously talking about that level of increase, but, you know, potentially around 12000 or so. But again, we do need to sort of really think about what level is right and what is the right mix to ensure a really vibrant and viable system. Tuition fees have risen since 1998. From £1,000 they trebled in 2006 and trebled again in 2012 to just below where they are today. Earlier this year the government put a price cap on tuition fees setting it at £9,250 for the next two years. But some universities say that means that for every home student they take they're making a loss of more than £1,700 and that by 2024 that loss more than doubles to £4,000. But there is already significant financial pressure for students as prices for them as for everyone continue to rise. From rent to bills to food, student finance can cover fees and there are maintenance loans to help with living costs. But Danielle, a third year student, says the prospect of ending up with so much debt is already making people think twice. People just think, oh, is this worth my degree? Like, is my degree worth this much money. Even if tuition fees might go up, but it's the maintenance loan that also would need to kind of reflect that as well, because a lot of the time that's what um, people struggle with, especially with the cost of living crisis. No domestic tuition fee hike may mean more overseas students, according to some university bosses. They already pay more than double and some unis are already taking on record numbers. But the Department of Education says it's a myth that UK students will miss places as a result. There's no comment from them about addressing the price cap issue. Catherine Vitozzi, Sky News.